Heidi ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And boy, have we got news for you. Yes, Hart, Hart has a riding lawnmower, electric riding lawnmower. Holy cow. Now, some of you, if you know the backstory stuff, you may not be as surprised as some, but anyway, let's jump into it. Let's talk about it. Let me roll some video on this, and then we can talk about it some more. Yeah, there's some nice storage there, but this, I love this. Yeah, the phone. That's what's going in that cup holder, the phone. The bagger looks nice for those of you who like to do that sort of thing. Look at that. Nice, convenient, easy to use. And this, because if you used a bagger, you know clogs happen. So I like the little boost feature with that, that that's built in. I know a lot of them do have that, but that's pretty cool is, you know, that they've, they've integrated into that. Of course, it's all sold separately. The LED lights for you night mowers. There we go. Uh, the adjustment, of course, that's going to be expected on something like this. But it all, it looks, you know what? It looks good. I like it. Well, there you go. That we talked about it. We showed you all the the specs and stuff. But we'll step through some of the details here. Full full disclosure: Hart actually right now is doing a, a big demo on this today. They flew a bunch of people out there yesterday to South Carolina. They're doing the demo today. They're gonna be flying them back on Friday. I actually was invited. I was supposed to go, and the other morning I was getting up, getting ready to leave, and I blew my knee out again. And so. <laughs> Hobbling around just didn't seem to be the thing to do. Anyway, so uh, just full disclosure, we'll let you all know what's going on here. They did also send me some some other hard equipment. We're going to be talking about that in a little bit. Anyway, let's talk about this mower because this thing is a good looking little piece of kit. There, I love this thing. Uh, it, it's hitting all the right spots there. It looks like good position. Nice, you know, it's not too big. This is not for mowing 40 acres. This is for the person who has like half an acre to an acre and they want a riding lawnmower for it, okay? Uh, you got the nice side discharge. Of course, it's got the bag you can put on as well. It's got the cute little front headlight for those of you who like to mow at night. I might add some off-road lights if I'm going to go that route. I love this. So it's an onboard battery and you get the charger there on the wall a la like a Tesla system here. So you're going to pull it in, you're going to plug it in a charge. You're not going to be pulling batteries in and out. It's not going to be compatible with the other heart stuff you may have. It does have right there easy access to the depth of cut gauge there on the left hand side. Uh, you know, it's got a good stand. It's narrow. It's less than 48 inches wide, so it'll fit through most gates. You're not going to have to sit there and figure out ways to shimmy it around and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, there is a close-up of the charger. It, it's, I said, it's a la Tesla kind of set up there, like your electric car kind of thing. Uh, cuts up to one acre on one charge. Now, that's what I said. This is not designed. This is no way intended for the people with huge, huge, massive tracts of land. This is for the homeowner who's got a little bit extra, maybe likes to cut his yard, his neighbor's yard, maybe your parents live next door kind of thing. So there, there are a lot of people who live close to family and stuff. So maybe, you know, you're doing a group cut kind of thing there. Anyway, single point height adjustment, two hour charge time. That's nice. Two hour charge time for a battery like that. So if you do have, let's say you got two acres or something like that, you could charge it. You could cut in the morning, charge it in the afternoon, cut in the, you know, cut in the evening. You could, of course, this being electric, you can cut later in the hours and not be that guy out there who's just, you know, blowing everyone's ears drums out, cutting at seven o'clock at night. That's the nice thing about electric mowers, especially these brushless ones. They are smooth. They're quiet. Three powerful brushless motors in this hassle-free maintenance. That's the other thing we always talk about electric. No oil changing, no lube, no spark plugs, none of that stuff. You just plug it in, unplug it, and it goes. 30-inch deck, LED headlight, uh, you know, hassle-free, no belts, uh, as I say, no spark plugs. There's your little key right there to get it started. You got your emergency stop switch right next to it. Now, as I said, this is, you know, you wouldn't be too surprised knowing the background because Hart is made by TTI. TTI, the same company that makes and owns Ryobi, sold in uh, North America. And they've got, and they've had for a couple of years now, a riding lawnmower. In fact, if we look at the two side by side, you can see there's a lot of DNA. In fact, this is very common with a lot of the Hart to Ryobi products. They, they're they not exactly the same, but they do share a large amount of DNA. And I'm I'd like to believe that what they're doing here is they're letting Ryobi test it out. Then Hart comes through and goes, okay, we know what works and what doesn't work. Like they've removed this top bar on this frame here. As you can see at the front, 
there's clearly the same tubular chassis underneath that they started with but they've gotten rid of the stuff that's just kind of over the top. It looks like they made the riding position a little bit more comfortable uh, and, and all around just a, uh, a better setup. It doesn't look, maybe not look as cool and off-roady as the Ryobi, but a lot more sleek and clean in the heart. It looks like it should have like some sort of Stormtrooper motif. <laughs> anyway, the Ryobi, if you look at the price on this though, the Ryobi's coming in at $2,600. I don't expect the heart to be far from that. You know, maybe with a good sale or something like that, we may see that come down. But it, just for comparison, let's we got to be honest. We've got to be, you know, clear-headed about this. If you were to go to, with gas, what kind of lawnmower would get you the same kind of performance and stuff? And you're looking at, like, over at Lowe's, we've got the Craftsman. This is their 10.5 horsepower, 30-inch. Right, This is the, the gas version of that lawnmower, is it not? And you're looking at $1,800 on that. If you go over to... Home Depot, they've got the traditional lawn tractor from Troy built there. Then you're looking at $1,900 on that. And you're getting a 42-inch cut with that one. So you're saving a significant amount of money there to go with gas. Now, you know, with electric cars and stuff, we talk about, like, you're prepaying your gas and all that kind of stuff. And you're prepaying, you know, the lack of maintenance. That may be true, but, boy, $1,800 versus, you know, what was this, $2,600? That's a thousand dollars. That's a lot of gas you're going to be using up there, and a lot, a lot of maintenance. Now I'll be honest. You know, I've had we, my family's been using Hart mowers now for quite some time. We, uh, uh, we bought one and we used it, and then they sent us one as an upgrade uh, to see what we liked about that one. And they're, uh, they've also sent us, I think, uh, trimmers and blowers in the past as well, some hand tools. So just you know, letting you guys know what's out there. Um, in fact, they just sent me this mower right here which is a little odd considering that right now I'm in the middle of a desert. Yeah, that, that's where I'm at right now. The middle of a desert. I'm asking friends and family, hey, do you have any yard I can mow? I think we might have to do a resort to the old gorilla landscaping tactic again to give these things a proper test. But if we look here, we got the 40-volt line. And it, see this one, they're doing the Made in USA with the asterisk with global materials. And I, I hate that they do that, but, you know, as I said... At least some of it's USA made. I don't know how much of it's actually being made versus assembled, all that kind of stuff. But it's always nice to see some of it there. Anyway, uh, the 40 volt here, 21 uh, inch self-propelled mower. As you can see, they're leaning into this whole black motif. All the new mowers have the the you know the Darth Vader black kind of thing on it. Uh, and then the older ones had that gray smoked lens kind of look on it with a lot more of the white and a lot more of the light blue there. So they're definitely getting, a, you know, a more serious look to their mowers. I, I like them. I'll be honest. I think they look good. Uh, these are all brushless except for the 18 inch uh, side discharging mower. Now, the one they just sent me, this one, let's take a look at that. And this is what I was going to tell you. Like if you click on a lot of the stuff, if you click on the image, page not found. But if you click on the, like on this one, you click on this one page not found that's why i'm like a lot of this i'm not sure they're supposed to be out there but you know if you if you do click on the right parts of it you you mess around a little bit do a little hunt and peck you'll find some of the information here so this mower the one they sent me and we will be testing in the coming week heart 40 volt 21 inch three in one uh i don't think it's a transformer i think they mean it cuts it mulches and it bags uh it comes with get this this i saw this on the box i was stunned not one but two six amp hour 40 volt batteries those are a hundred bucks each, you know, at, at the on sale at that price. So for five hundred bucks, you're getting the self-propelled mower, you're getting two batteries and a rapid charger with it. That's a heck of a lot of mower for that price. There, there's a uh, you know a lot of features with this. Now it runs on one battery, and the other battery just gets carried along. So if you're out there and you're mowing and you need to switch over, you've got it right at hand. Uh, you you don't have to have the other uh, battery in there for this to work. But, you know, the, the other mowers that we've used from them, I've been just thrilled with them, you know. And there was a discussion about, hey, traditional lawnmowers are steel. They're going to last longer. Here's the thing, because, these, yeah, these mowers are plastic. But here's the deal. What does plastic not do? Plastic doesn't rust. Plastic doesn't dent. If it breaks, super glue it. You don't have to get a welder out or something like that or a hammer to beat it back into shape. How many, how many old mowers have you seen that are dented and rusted? It, there's a give and take in each one. And, you know, my kids have been using one for a couple years now. Every summer, uh, earning extra money, mowing yards and stuff like that. Never missed a beat with any of them. We've been using all the hard equipment for that. 
Now they also have some in the 20 volt system. This is gonna use your standard 20 volt battery. They've got a 16 inch and a 13 inch. The 16 inch, these are gonna be for small yards, all right? Let's be clear, small yards. The 16 inch uh, with battery and charger there, and it comes with two batteries. <laughs> two batteries, $258 on that. All right, now they also sent me this blower. They've been upgrading the blowers here. They've got the speed, high speed tip on it. Now remember, family friendly comments only, all right? Let's keep it there. This one comes with a, a five amp hour battery and a charger, two hundred fifty eight uh, dollars on that, and it's claiming some pretty high speed on it. We'll have to see if it lives lives up to uh, its claims. But I've been really uh, really happy with the uh, with the other one that we've had, and it's and it is high. It's clearly the of all the uh, the blowers that we've tested, it's got the most power. Uh, and I did bring bring the testing equipment down, so we've got the wind speed test we're going to use on that. But this is the one I really want to talk about. Check this out. 40 volt cordless, 15 inch brushless, wait for it, carbon fiber attachment capable string trimmer. Are you serious? Carbon fiber? What are we doing here? This is insane. From heart. This is Walmart with a carbon fiber shaft there. That's ridiculous. And, uh, you know, clearly going for weight savings on stuff like this. Honestly, I didn't see there was much of a problem with the uh with the the aluminum one on that but i'll be honest i'm a bigger bear so maybe that's just not quite as an issue for me this one comes with a four amp hour battery and the fast charger so at 258 dollars of course i think they're going to be offering them eventually at some point as tool only if you're already in the 40 volt line or you'll just end up with a whole bunch of tools anyway they're not inexpensive but remember at each one of these you're getting a battery and this one you're getting a four amp hour battery this one you're getting a five amp hour battery uh, in the other one, you're getting two of, of the batteries with that one. So there's a lot to be said there. Anyway, I, as I said, we are going to be doing some testing on these. Don't know if, if or when I'm going to be able to get my paws on this sucker right here, but you know, if I can, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> poking them over there going, come on, you gotta, you gotta just like have a little, have a store. Let me borrow one. All right. Uh, <laughs> where I don't know where I'll use it. There's a big park in town. Maybe they, they need some help, right? <laughs> Unbeknownst to them. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, come on, say it with me. Shine on.